Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis on this Wednesday morning. Americans have been dealing with high inflation for a few years now. A new report has released this morning that was released this morning reveals where the prices are right now. This is a big one. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us live from New York City with all the results. And this is important. Uh, isn't the Fed meeting this week, Jill? Oh my gosh, it's like the one-two punch. We have the consumer price index this morning, the Fed results later this afternoon. This is my kind of day, gang. <laughs> and we did get some better than expected news on the consumer price index. CPI slowed down a little bit, okay? That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about overall prices. We're talking about the rate of increase of prices. And normally, before the pandemic, we used to get 2% increases every year. And right now, according to the most recent consumer price index, prices up by 3.3% from a year ago. And that's a slight improvement from the previous month. We even saw an improvement at the core rate. That removes food and energy because those are pretty volatile categories. Core rate up 3.4% from a year ago, down from 3.6% in the previous month. So the rate of increase slowing down a little bit, and that is good news. That is good news. All right, and and the the big some of the big companies like your Targets and your Walgreens recently knocked their prices, slashed them back. And, and are, is that are they at like the forefront of a new movement? Is that going to happen now? Are prices going to start to fall? Uh, I don't know if that we're going to see that. I think what that is a real acknowledgement of is that consumers are really were starting to say, hey, the price is just too high for me to go to get those items. I've got to change my habits. So those announcements are meant to bring us back into their stores. Yes, of course, it could help ease the inflation rate in the coming months, but I don't think we're going to see a wholesale race to the bottom on prices. Mm. We saw that after the Great Recession because the economy was in shambles and nobody was spending money. Right now, the economy is actually in pretty good shape. So helpful, but not the panacea. Is this going to be the day that we look back in a year or two and, and, and think that was the pivot point? We had the good news this morning. The feds come out maybe with some good news this afternoon and then boom, it's off to the races. You know I will never make a prediction, especially <laughs> one that's on tape. So we can talk about that <laughs> offline. No, uh, so listen, the Fed is going to tell us today that the inflation rate is still too high, okay? And, and I understand that because the Fed's going to say, hey, you know what? It's great that it's moving in the right direction. We're not there yet. The Fed is targeting that 2% rate that we saw before the pandemic. And, you know, we're in the threes, so we've got a ways to go. But I think if the Fed were to see an improvement over the summer months, right, if we're pulling back on our spending a little bit and things are doing OK on the inflation rate, then maybe we get a September meeting where we could see a cut. A lot of people think that the economy is doing just fine with interest rates above 5 percent. So why cut at all? And I think the answer is that you know, at some point it does start to weigh on especially the labor market and we don't want that to happen. So they're trying to thread a needle. Maybe Jerome Powell says he's going to put on his Bermuda shorts, his flowered shirt. He's going to say gone fishing for the summer. See you in September. What do you think the likelihood is of that? I don't know. You know these things, you know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm hoping today's the day, though. Jill, thank you. Always a pleasure to see you and, to, uh, and chat with you. And you can see Jill regularly on the CBS Mornings and CBS Evening News with Nor O'Donnell. And for more analysis, you can go to JillOnMoney.com. I would suggest you do that. You'll learn a lot. We'll also post this segment at FirstAlert4.com slash Great Day following the show. Ken's counting his pennies mm. already. All right, thanks, bud.